TV with another live broadcast. And in today's broadcast, I'm dealing with a very popular subject. If you're a septic tank owner, right, and you're selling a house that has a septic tank, what do you need to know? What will help you be able to get a smooth transition of selling your house without having to reduce the price, say, by 10, 15, 20,000 pounds, which lots of septic tank owners um, are finding, unfortunately, that's the case when they come to sell their property. Or maybe you're looking to buy a house with a septic tank. I'm going to show you what to look for and all the pros and the cons of buying a house with a septic tank. So let's get straight into this then, right? So let's say you're buying a property with that has a septic tank. What do you need to know? Well, you need to ask questions. Yes, your solicitor will ask questions on your behalf, but if you give him additional information, additional questions to ask, then um, you can get the answers that you're looking for more readily and more quickly. So what kind of questions do you need to ask, right? You need to ask what the age of the septic tank is, right? You need to ask what its age is, right? Now, that matters because anything that was installed prior before 2015 now comes under a whole new load of rules and regulations called retrospective planning approval. So let me just put that there for you. Retrospective planning approval. So regardless if the property that you're buying, right, had planning permission, that is not the same. Right, so if if it's if the tank is older than 2015, then 99 in <laughs> percent out of 100 or nine times out of 10, you can pr pr pretty rest assured, right? Be rest assured that the septic tank won't have approval from the local planning office. So that's the first thing you need to know. Secondly, what's the condition of the septic tank that um, is in the house that you're looking to buy. What kind of maintenance have they carried out on it? So, for example, best, one of the easiest and simple ways to find out if they've been conscientious in uh, looking after their septic tank is to ask to see the septic tank emptying receipt. So basically, by those, you can tell whether it's had a full service history or not, right? Just like a car. You buy a car, it's got 92,000 miles in the club. If it's got a full service history, that puts people's minds at rest because they can see a footprint, right, from when they bought it to how it got to now. When you've only got a partial service history, uh, personally, I, I, if I'm looking to buy a car and it's only got a partial service history, it's got gaps missing, so you don't know who had it or how they treated it, right? And it's the same here, right? Regarding the condition and the maintenance of the septic tank, of the house that you're looking to buy, ask to see the septic tank emptying receipts. They should get it emptied once or twice a year, and they will have receipts for that. So if they've got a septic tank that's, say, 10 years old, then you should have at least 10 years' worth of septic tank emptying receipts, right? And then maybe on top of that, they've got it jetted and cleaned out. You know, ask to see those receipts as well. If they haven't got those septic tank emptying receipts, and that shows me, or it's a good indication that they haven't maintained or looked after the septic tank as they should have, right? Okay, so if they don't have any of these, right, then I would definitely get a company in to do a site inspection. Now, that will cost you anywhere from, say, 300 to 800 quid to do. Uh, People like myself, uh, septic tank consultants, will go round. They'll investigate and check out the septic tank, right? They'll, you know, see what it's like internally, externally. They'll find out how old it is. They'll see what kind of soak away is attached to it. They'll see if there's any watercourses near to the septic tank. Why is that important? Because if there's a ditch or a watercourse or a stream near the septic tank, then after 2020, septic tanks of that sort and that kind will become illegal. So if in doubt, if you're not getting the answers to your questions that you're asking, 
it's well worth paying someone three, six, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine hundred quid to go and do a site inspection because what that means is, right, if you suspect that the owners haven't looked after the septic tank, if they don't know what kind of tank it is and they've got a few uh, septic tank emptying receipts from here or there, right, they really don't know the condition of the tank, right? But a, 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 a sewage consultant, septic tank consultant, will go and do an inspection and they'll know the age of it and the condition of it. Now, based on that, based on the inspection, you can then make an informed decision. So, look, if the septic tank, for example, is tired and worn and the soak away ain't working properly, you can then get some firms in. You can get three quotes. Um, typically, a, a quote to replace your septic tank and soak away can cost anywhere from, say, eight to £12,000. But the beauty is, right, you can get the house holder the owner of the people, right, that, that you're looking to buy the house from, to reduce the price by the amount of which it's going to cost the firm that you're going to instruct to do it. So you can get the house price reduced like anywhere from ten to 15,000 quid. And so that, you know, is a really, really good thing. So those are the main criteria. Those are the main things that I would look for if I was buying a house with a septic tank. Now, let's put the shoe on the other foot. What if you're selling a house with a septic tank, right? What do you need to know? So you've got a big property, you've got a small property, you've got a septic tank there. The people buying your house are coming at you. They're asking you all these questions. What do you need to know? What do you tell them? How do you avoid, right, reducing the price of your house by 10 or 15,000 pounds? Let me show you. All the rules and the regulations change after the 1st of January 2020. So this is what you need. When their solicitor reaches out to you to ask you all these questions, you need to show him a certificate, right? It's just like an MOT certificate, but this one is recognized by the Environmental Agency in UK Builder Regs. You show him a certificate. It has to be an EN12566-1 certification, or it has to be an EN12566-3 certification. Don't worry about those numbers or all that that entails. Just know that that's the certificate that you need to have. If you've got a septic tank that was installed in your property after 2015, nine times out of 10, the chances are you will be able to ring or contact your manufacturer and get an EN12566-1 for a septic tank. Or if you've got some kind of biodigester, electric biodigester means it's got motors and, 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 and compressors in, then you can ring your manufacturer and get yourself an EN12566-3 certification. If you show the solicitor, if you show the certificate, that certificate to the solicitor who's representing the people buying your house, then all of this goes away. Full stop. Period. OK, if you show the solicitor of the, who's representing the people buying your house, one of those certificates, all this goes away. Poof. Just like that. Right. However, right. If you haven't got one of those right certificates and you don't want to reduce your house price by 10 to 15,000 quid then the best thing that you can do that i can recommend to you is to get yourself a septic tank converter so just let me show you the process people buying your house are saying you know you've got an old septic tank we're worried we want you to reduce your house price right and they'll get three estimates, right? Now, estimates, as you know, isn't a quote. An estimate is an estimated cost. So this could actually go up, right? So if you want to get, if you've got a septic tank, right, and you haven't got one of these certifications, the easiest and simple way to save 12, 13, 14, 15,000 quid is to get yourself, is to get yourself a septic tank converter, right? Uh, let me give you an example. You can get a septic tank converter called an ecosystem. Now, the ecosystem septic tank converter is a government approved um, little black box that goes in the ground next to your septic tank and converts 
the sewage in your septic tank into almost mineral water, right? But the beauty is, right, with this little black box, right, you get the certificate. You get the certificate. Now, this black box will cost you, right, about 2999 okay? Yes, so you've got to fork something out. But, right, the point is, if you get that certificate, all this goes away. If you get that certificate, you won't have to spend out 10, 12, 15, 18,000 quid replacing your system or reducing the house of your price. You pay out literally 2999. It, you can get your builder to put these little black boxes in. You can do it yourself. It takes about an hour, two hours to do. But the point is this, right? You get yourself, you will get an EN12566-3 certificate, which will then make all this go away. So that is my tip of the day. If you're selling your house, your septic tank's older than 2015, get yourself right. Don't mess around. Don't dilly-dally. Get yourself an ecosystem septic tank converter. As I said, you know, they're 2999 If you don't want to do that, then by all means, you know, you know, reduce the price of your house by 10 to 15,000 quid. If you're buying a house, right, and they haven't got that certificate, then you need to do pay someone to do your site inspection. Yes, you're going to fork out 800 quid maybe to get someone to do it, but it means that you'll be able to get the person of the house uh, you're, you're looking to buy to reduce the price of their house uh, relatively, you know, 10, 12, 15,000 quid. So there you go. I hope those tips have helped you. If you'd like to see more tips, if you'd like more free advice, then just visit Septic Tank uh, TV or there's a link below this video. If you just look down, you'll see a link there. You can click it. It will take you straight away to more information about um, tips like this that will save you having to wade through lots of red tape and spend thousands and thousands out in unnecessary costs. So listen, thank you very much for watching uh, Septic Tank TV today. If you like it, subscribe. You've got a chance to win a bucket of of septic tank soak away worms which means you never ever have to pay two or three hundred quid to get your septic tank emptied again right you can win a free bucket just subscribe to my youtube channel or you know click the link below here and have a look at my free other videos and broadcasts so listen thank you very much for watching take care and i'll speak to you soon